amount of times I walk up and down this hall in the past minute is crazy. Let's go to class though. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a little bit different. I decided to shoot a school vlog. Now, in another video, I mentioned that I am in college and I'm wrapping up soon. And this year, I was taking one of my classes and I said, you know what, I should film one of my classes or me in one of my classes. I did an Instagram story vlog, I believe the previous semester. And from then I said, you know what, I need to shoot one with me actually in class in a culinary class. So that's exactly what I did. This semester, one of the classes I took was an advanced baking and pastry class. So I just filmed myself doing that. I didn't film everything though. I just kind of filmed some things that I do, me preparing some stuff, getting my mise en place together and things like that. And I also have a little surprise at the end of the video of something really great that happened to me during the semester. So let's hop into it and let's go. So in the previous clip, what you saw was me getting hand sanitizer and then wiping it on the board because what had happened was we needed to write out our recipes. We always write out our recipes on the board and what we're going to do for that day. And I had a marker, but my marker was a permanent marker. And I didn't realize it until I was trying to like wipe it off or something. And I realized it wouldn't wipe off. So I grabbed some sanitizer because I know that takes off markers, right? Alcohol and I was just rubbing it. It was really tough, but I got it off. No worries. So let's get into what I do first. So when I arrived to class, I'm usually one of the first people there. So I would just set up the class as best as I could. A lot of utensils like bowls, rolling pins and stuff are all set up on their respective shelves. So I don't have to touch that, we get them as we need. But I would always go and grab whatever ingredients uh, I think that we would need. And we would talk about what we're gonna make for that day the previous day or we would just look at the course syllabus to see what we have to do and we always need sugar flour eggs milk and butter flour and sugar is always in the classroom stored away but eggs milk and butter if we don't have them in the fridge already we just go to the storage department and grab them and put them out so i put them out on the table and then I will go ahead and fill up the sinks with hot water and dishwashing liquid so that we could have a sanitation station to wash dishes as we go. After that, I would get a cloth, put it in the sanitized water and wipe down the tables. After that, by that time, if no one's there, I would just write on the board or somebody would write on the board the, the recipes and ingredients that we got to do, look over it or yeah. Just look over what we have to do and get ready for the day. So most of these clips are just me getting my ingredients together for whatever recipe I'm going to make. And you'd see a lot of times that my mask is below my nose, but don't watch that. I stay pulling my mask up during class just because the shape of my nose causes my mask to fall down. So I have to always pull it up and you'll see that throughout the video. But yeah. So in this clip, I was getting together a creme and glaze, AKA a custard or an ice cream base because we were making ice cream this day and we ended up making a coconut jelly ice cream. And in the next clip, my partner and I, because we work in groups of two, we were working on a bread basket. So we made a Zufi dough. We took the dough and we rolled it out. We stretched it out really, 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 really long. And then we twisted it to make this twist rope effect. And then we took it, we wrapped it around a bowl. We took the bowl, we baked it. We took it off the bowl, turned it upside down, baked it again so that the inside could cure and dry. And we had our, our bread basket. In this other clip, we were working on something called pastillage. Pastillage, think of it as fondant, right? It's mostly sugar, but instead of being used to decorate cakes, it's used as a decorative piece itself. So once you put it together and you roll it out, it turns hard like cement and you can use it as a decoration, as a bowl, a cup, a mask, anything you want that you can mold it into. Um, so <laughs> if you ever find yourself making fondant, do not be like me and roll it out so rough because it ended up sticking to the table. So I had to ball it up and start it all over again. But this was, this was really fun. It's like playing with Play-Doh.
this clip, my classmate and I had made some mini pineapple tarts and we worked on the crust for it and we were just putting the lattices on top. In this clip, I'm just once again getting my mise en place or my ingredients together for whatever I'm making. And one thing I will tell you about baking is that it is super precise. Um, you have to have all your measurements together because if one ingredient is off, it'll affect the final product of what you want to make. So make sure to read your, your ingredients, your recipes carefully. And I noticed that when you make something over and over and over, you wouldn't even need to look at a recipe anymore. You just eyeball it because you know what it's supposed to look like, how much liquid, how much sugar you're supposed to use, what the ratio is supposed to use. And that's how you really start to cook from your head and from your heart. So as I said in the beginning of the video, something really interesting happened. So during the semester, my university, UB, had partnered with Food Network celebrity chef Marcus Samuelson. What happened is he's creating a restaurant in one of our local resorts called Bahama. And UB had partnered with him to create a private cooking class for some of the UB students. It was a really, really good experience, I will say. It was so much fun. They gave us recipes and what we're going to make. We made conch croquettes and piccadilly. They gave us all our ingredients ready measured out. We had our own stations and stoves and utensils. They gave us aprons and everything. And we just cooked along with Chef Sam Wilson. And yeah, he walked us through it. It was a really good experience. Honestly, <laughs> 10 out of 10. So um, this was to help market the launch of his restaurant, Marcus. So yeah, would 100% do it again. It was so much fun and I'm so glad for the experience.